Do we need to say now? Do we need to say now? Look at this car! <laughs> this car! Look at this old car! Oh, we have the view! We're at the farm! Mm. I see a rooster! Look! Look! Look, Cameron! Good afternoon. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, The New Parents, and um, we are here at uh, Jasra Organic, Organic Farm. Farm. So guys, uh, we hope um, you will enjoy our episode for today, and um, in a few moments, hopefully we will be meeting with the owner of, uh, of the Jasra Organic Farm, okay, to tour us around, and maybe we can get free this. <laughs> The skating. <laughs> Always previous. Anyway, guys, so. Um, Why not, right? <laughs> see you in a bit and um, enjoy the show. Alright, bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> so, what's that? Say thank you. Where? Hi guys, um, so uh, we had uh, met the owner of the, the farm, um, we wanted to make a, a live interview with him but unfortunately he said uh, he refuses, um, respectfully of course, uh, because he said uh, you know he's a private man and uh, we respect it. And, but he was a very nice man, um, I, I think I can give his uh, first name, his name is Mr. Tarek. Uh, very nice, very nice guy. And uh, he gave us a very quick tour of the small farm uh, that he owns. And showed us uh, everything that he has in here. So he said that uh, uh, this farm has been uh, established almost 20 years ago. Uh, uh, by his, uh, it's a family uh, established farm and it's a community farm as well um, the products that they're harvesting they're not selling it in, 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 uh, in a big uh, uh, supermarkets or chain of uh, food uh, supplies because he wanted to keep it open for everybody so everybody can buy it um, I think he said, um, he also said that one, one, one big chain uh, supermarket here offered him to like take 100% of his products uh, but he refuses because he knows uh, that the price uh, that they will resell it is, is, will be much too high, you know, maybe four times higher than he is selling it right now. So he refuses to do it. He can, you know, and uh, you know. I think for him he will be much more uh, profitable but uh, he didn't choose to do that so salute to him so uh, yeah and uh, he also says that the the produce here are 100% organic uh, he never uses pesticide or chemicals to boost the growth of uh, of the harvest so it was hard harder than it has to be because you know 
you have to uh, grow the things, all the vegetables, and maybe fruits, uh, organically or naturally. You know, um, he also said that uh, a large percentage of uh, his crops, you know, is uh, basically been uh, wasted due to you know um, infestation of uh, pests because. He doesn't use pesticides, so of course the plant is going to be destroyed by, in, by uh, insects and animals. And also the, the growth, the growth of the plants is of course longer than you know plants that has been uh, boosted with chemicals and things like that. So, all right, guys. So that's my uh, that's our uh, uh, short interview with the owner. Uh, so just stay with us so that we can show you around and see what kind of vegetables they have here. Hi. Mabute. So what's that? Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> Do you know how to speak uh, Tagalog? Maganda. Maganda. Maliit. Oh oh. <laughs> so guy, I think he's uh, one of the farmer here, and uh, right now he's uh, kind of harvesting some uh, cauliflower. cauliflower. Yes, you see. <clears throat> Can you see? Yeah, this uh, cauliflower still small, but smells good. It smells good. Yeah, very tasty. Yeah, masarap na. Right. What's your name, Kuya? Mustafa. Mustafa. Kamusta? Mabuti. Yako. Mabuti, mabuti. Yako po bina. Mapogi ka rin, Kuya. <laughs> you know, how do you the gallon? Celery. Ah, celery. Celery. Right. So those are celery. Corn. Yeah. Okay. So you think how how long uh, would it take for it to grow some some corn and harvest it? Three months after. Three, three months, months. Yeah. after. After three, three, months. three months. After three months. Right. Okay. This is mango tree. Mango tree. Yes. Asparagus. These are asparagus. Asparagus. So these sections are asparagus, as I have told you earlier. And uh, we're still on the cornfield here, very small cornfield. So our guy here, uh, Mr. Mustafa, is showing us. Also, also celery, but more celery. Yeah. It says honeybees. Also, you show box here inside box. You go there. Yeah, let's let's see the, yeah, the honeybees. See, oh, all right, all right. Can we go inside? No, a little far. A little far. Part. Okay. So basically, what he's telling us is that small hut <coughs> are um, the bee the bee house, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the bee house, and uh, they also harvest some honeys there. So they put some bees here so that you know they could uh, naturally. Uh, how do you call this? Help them in the uh, pollination of the plants, you know, to help it uh, uh, grow. This onion. These are, onion. oh yeah, the onion. These are the onion, uh, onion leaves. And potato also. This potato. Those are potatoes. Yeah. Right. Okay. So all of this 
This field here this are potatoes. Potato. Right. And what's on our right side here? This side is tomato. Also tomato. Mm-hmm. So we are now in the greenhouses 